debit or credit. So which one is better? Which one should you use? What's the difference? So why not make a video on that, right? Broke investor here, commuting to work, as always. Story of my life. One hour each way. Need something to do, right? Can, li can only listen to so many podcasts and YouTube videos. So why not make my own? Why not continue to yip yap myself so other people can listen to me if they want? Well, hopefully they do. Um, so another topic, kind of non-investment related, is um, our debit cards versus credit cards, and why one is better than the other in certain scenarios. Um, I mean, when you're when you turn 18. Typically, you know, it's when you have the opportunity, at least in the United States, to get a debit or a credit card. And typically around that age, you have no idea what you're doing unless your parents have taught you the right way. You should, you should not have a credit card um, in your hands at that point. Because the credit card, obviously, you know, you sign up credit card company, they give you a certain limit, this is your limit, $500, and you're allowed to use it on whatever the hell you want, you just have to pay it back, eventually, well, you just have to pay them monthly, really, um, I don't think they really want you to ever pay them back, they want you to be in debt with them forever, so, so a credit card is more so just using the big bank's money and paying them back slowly with interest so you can make them richer. A debit card is a card that's linked to your checking account. So you go to a bank, you open a checking account, and how can you use the money? You, you use a debit card. Um, and obviously a debit card is, you know, has a Visa or MasterCard attached to it so you can use it anywhere where, they're, where they accept that. Way back in the day, if anyone is as old as me, you remember the only time, the only way you could really use your checking account is writing a check or using something called an EBT card, um, which was, you know, it's like an ATM card, basically. It was called EBT. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you use ATM card, which was typically used in ATMs. Some some uh, big stores would allow you to use it there, though. Um, there was no debit option. It was just uh, you know whether or not they they take credit card or they take an ATM, EBT, whatever the hell they were called it at the time, card. And obviously later on, Visa and Mastercard said, okay, let's let's jump on this boat and let's. Uh, Let's go to the banks and offer our services so people can use their actual, you know, checking account to pay for anything they want. So, sure enough, uh, debit cards and credit cards are now pretty much one and the same. When people are using one, you can't even tell the difference. Um, at least, you know, right off the bat, you know, visually. But, um... Now, what is better to use, right? As a broke investor or a broke anything, you, you want to use a debit card. When you use a credit card, you're, you don't really feel anything. If you go to the store, you're buying clothes, you're buying whatever, food, you're going to buy beer. When you use a credit card, you don't feel it at all. Until a month later, you get that bill in the mail. You're like, what the, what the hell did I do? And then you have to pay it. And then you're like, eh, I'll just pay the minimum. Or I'll pay a little more. Things like that. When you use a debit card, you feel it immediately. Even before you swipe that card, you know. Alright, how much is in my checking account? You know, if I spend $200 right now, how much is this going to destroy my checking account so you understand the there's an immediate impact so this will 
obviously make you make smarter decisions versus a credit card would make you stupid in a way. So debit card, um, obviously if you're someone who does not have a lot of money, someone who's broke, you should be using a debit card. You should not even have a credit card to your name um, because debit card means you're spending the money that you have. Assuming you don't have a credit line linked to your checking account with the bank, um, which is completely ridiculous and high interest rate, etc. But uh, if you're someone who has their shit together and has more than enough in an emergency fund or money put away, and you can you know how to behave and you understand credit cards, then yeah, you're going to use a credit card because it's just you know want to get any, if you're going to spend, if you have bills, recurring bills, that you have to pay, like your cell phone bill, I don't know, daycare, whatever, then why not get an additional 1%, 2%, 3%, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to pay these bills off, you know, once or twice a month, like right away, then why not take advantage, why not steal, you know, get something back? credit card companies and again this is only if you know what the hell you're doing like if you have no control you're not doing this if you can't pay off your credit card every single month you're not doing this because they'll build up and they'll build up and they'll build up I was that dumbass 18 year old and 20 year old 25 year old took, took quite a while to realize all right and this is pretty stupid but um, it's it's not smart to be using a credit card when you can't pay it off the following month. You're just digging and digging yourself into a deeper hole. So, and one of the arguments that always comes up, oh, I have to use a credit card because if someone steals my identity and uses my card, they won't touch my checking account. Well, it's the same shit. You, if you use a Visa, debit card, Visa, credit card, you have the same protection through Visa. So, obviously, if you have a transaction, if they use your debit card and they have a transaction, it's going to stay in pending until they fix it. On both scenarios. So, if it's pending on a credit card, you don't really care because you're not seeing it until the following month anyway, or at all. And a debit card, you're, you know, if it's $200, you're like, that's held against you. So, if you only have $200, you're kind of screwed temporarily until your bank fixes this. So, for that purpose only, I understand that argument. But, just keep in mind, both options offer the same protection. So, in the end, you're good. You know? Your, your Visa debit card, your Visa credit card, your MasterCard debit card, your MasterCard um, credit card, they're offering you the same exact protection. So, you know, you have to keep that in mind. So anyway, I mean, that's the basic difference between a debit and a credit card. Assuming you did not know that, but pretty much everyone at this point knows it. But it's more of a control thing. Can you control yourself? If you cannot, then you need to be using a debit card. If you can, then obviously you can use a credit card if you know how to play the game. And... It's like, it's a game that you typically do not want to play unless you really have your shit together. So, if you can make money off of them, fine. If you cannot, just stick with your damn debit card. Pay cash. Pay things with money that you have, not money that you are going to borrow. All right, that's it. Broke Investor, heading off to work. Hope you enjoyed this short commute vlog video, whatever the hell they call it. Um, leave a comment what you think about debit and credit cards. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Share the video if you have any friends. And go to work. Alright, later.